They're not really your friend. Yes. La Bible dit, the Bible says, le cœur de l'homme, de l'homme est tortueux. It says the heart of man is deceitful. Jeremy 17 verse 9. Jeremy 17 verse 9. Il dit, le cœur de l'homme est tortueux. The heart of man is deceitful. Par dessus tout, il est méchant. Above all else, it is evil. Qui peut le connaître? Who can know it? Oh, quand une expérience. I've had a lot of experiences. Oh, a bit from what say the moon, some of the moon have A lot of times I, I hear what people are saying. Some moon have played. What people are doing. Vous avez la question, est-ce que vous ça est mon bon Dieu? And you ask yourself, is that person really a person of God? Il abuse vous. Did they abuse you? Ils veulent tout ça dépendre de vous, écraser vous. They do whatever it takes to destroy you. The things that you see people do when you ask yourself, are they really Christians? Brothers and sisters. This morning, are you in the status of friends with Jesus? You may do whatever you want. You may do it in secret. You may think that you're hiding. But the Bible tells us. No, Mark chapter 4, verse 22. In Mark chapter 4, verse 22. There's nothing that is hidden that will not be brought to light. So I'm telling you, be careful this morning. All your secrets will be brought to light. It says whatever was said in secret. Will be spoken on the mountaintop. And what you whispered in somebody's ear will be preached in the streets. Je vous ai ami. I called you friends. Parce que je vous ai fait ce que ai de mon père. Because I told you everything that I knew from the Father. Est -ce que tout le monde dans ses amis, Jésus? Is, is everybody here Jesus' friend this morning? Hallelujah. I would like you to see what Jesus said in John, verse 15, verse 14. in John chapter 15, verse 14. It says, don't be deceived. You might think you're Jesus' friend. But according to verse 14, it's not everybody who's Jesus' friend. Because Jesus lays out the groundwork for being his friend. He says, you are my friends if you do what I say. Ces conditions. These are the conditions. Oh, I was talking to some co-workers this week. They think whoever just comes to this building, everybody's a Christian. He had doubts about his salvation. He tried, I tried to tell them and let them know that they, they're, they're misunderstanding. Building is a place The building is a public place. Anybody can come to the church. Just because somebody comes to the church doesn't mean they're a Christian. They think that just because they come to this building that they're saved. It's a good thing that they come. Because you can hear the word of God. And you can be saved. But if you don't receive the word, you can come here every Sunday. That's not going to stop you from getting there. Because Jesus said, You are my friend. If you do what I say. That's not what Pastor Fritz said. That's not what Pastor said. That's not what Pastor said. That's not what people in the church said. What Jesus tells you to do. Yes. 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 A lot of times we deceive ourselves. Because we said that's brother so and so. We think, oh, he's, he must be saved. 
But because in this building, as soon as you say, I'm going to accept the price, they write your name down on a piece of paper. But only you know in your heart whether or not you accept the price. You can take a communion. You can eat with us. You can go to all the pictures. You can worship with us. But if you don't have Christ in your heart, if you don't do what Jesus tells you, if you're not Jesus, you're going to hell. Je vous ai appelé Ali. I called you friends. Parce que je vous ai fait connaître tout ce que j'ai appris de mon père. Because I told you everything I knew from the father. Le sort sera fatal. Dernier moment difficile à vivre. The last days were going to be hard. Selon Matthieu chapitre 7 verset 23. According to Matthew chapter 27 verse 23. Jésus dit alors je leur dirai ouvertement. I will tell them openly. Je ne vous ai jamais connu. I never knew you. Vous retirez-vous de moi? We, uh, uh, move from me. Get away from me. Vous qui commettez l'iniquité. You who commit lawlessness. Que vous avez sauté les I told you that people's hearts used to be shook when they were given the Even the person who thought he had a good grade. Parce que pas le job, non? Because he knows he has to stand on the podium. Pas fort, His heart is beating. Imagine if the person who knows they did good And what about the person who knows they have a bad grade? You're have to have high blood pressure. You have to have the heart beating really fast. And you have to have the heart beating really fast. And even when a, a student has done really, really well, no, not well. Oh, very bad. Not too bad, but it be as a rule pass. Maybe average. So so. Let them know the pass. When when they hear that they pass the class, they go crazy. They yell or they scream of joy. They celebrate. Because they pass for a walk. They pass for not marching with a plan. Because he's not. They're not going to walk with the boys who didn't pass. Because it's such a worldly lady. Because the shame that they had in their heart has been removed. And so when they give you a report card, there's two types of noises they're going to hear. There's people who celebrate because they, they passed, they jump in the air for joy. And there's some people who are crying, not because they just pet in and pass, but they know they have to go back home. Because their parents are going to be waiting for them with themselves. A nice little belt that's been waiting for them. And my father used to have passed something. So special for me. He's gonna make you run around. So bell. It's a, it's a belt, uh, a, a, a loop that goes around. It has a lot of sharp spikes inside of it. You can't take a chance not to pass. As a matter of fact, your grades are never good enough. If you got a six, he says you could got a seven. You got a seven, you could got an eight. If you got an eight, he says you could got a nine. I mean, my father was never satisfied. That means for me, whenever when I got, I was always scared. Oh, yeah. 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 That means I couldn't play around like everybody else was playing around. When everybody else was playing around, I used to study my books. Oh, I already studied my books. And I know them already. They made him read me recital. He tells me to take the other page. I've never had a vacation. I passed my high school. After three days. After four days, my father gave me a, a bag of books. Because I had a friend that was uh, doing uh, seventh grade. He gave me all of his, his books. All of his books. And he told me to start studying the books because that's the class I'm going to take next. After the official exam, I had one day of break. But Jesus calls you a friend. 
Nous dit que mon toujours sourire à nous. Et le Seigneur dit dans le dernier jour. And Jesus tells us in the last days. Il a dit retirez-vous de moi. He says get away from me. Vous qui commettez l'iniquité. You who commit iniquity. Matin. This morning. I want you to know that you have a chance this morning. Because Jesus wants to offer you once again his salvation. He wants to give you a promotion this morning. Whenever, whenever you take this promotion, you have, to be a, you have to agree to be a servant first. And when you become a servant, then you can receive this promotion to become a friend. It's a promotion that you don't deserve. Because Jesus' blood shed for this. They pierced his head with thorns. They pierced his sides. They pierced his hands. They pierced his feet. And they said, the Bible says, all his blood. He was sweating and he was sweating blood. That's the price that Jesus paid for you to become his friend. A promotion that we don't deserve. This morning we got promoted from being a servant to becoming his friend. What a privilege. But were you even a servant to begin with? You can't become Jesus' friend without first being a servant. And if it was not for the grace of God, you could not be his friend. Look in the following verses. In John chapter 15, verse 16, the Lord Jesus says, You did not choose me. A lot of times we're talking, we say, Oh, I chose to serve God. But Jesus makes it clear that we did not choose him. <laughs> but I chose you. I established you. That you should go out and produce fruit. And that's why Jesus chose you. Not only do you need to bear fruit, that your fruit may remain. What fruit are you giving this morning? You could be giving off fruit, but nobody can eat your fruit. <laughs> you, you can be given fruit. Your life can be bearing fruit, but your fruit is not edible. This morning, if you are Jesus' servant, if you are a servant of God, Jesus says you must bear fruit in your life to give good fruit. We're in summertime. There's a lot of fruits outside on trees. A lot of times there are people eating watermelon. They eating cantaloupes. Eating mangoes. And sometimes you eat it and taste it's not good. But you see some watermelons are very good. When you eat a first bite, you want to eat another one. But there's some that you eat, you taste it, it has no taste. You just take it and you throw it in the trash. And you say, man, I'll waste my money. This morning, is Jesus wasting his money on you? Because what he's done for you is worth more than money. His own blood was shed for you. He died for you. He resurrected. And he said, I prepare a place for you. He says, where I will be, there you will be also. Are you wasting Jesus' time? And he says, it's not you that chose me. There's things that you are practicing. There's fruit that you are giving. And 
And you, you give Jesus a bad taste in his mouth. Oh, jeune garçon. Oh, young men. Vous pensez au droit de mer à toute jeune fille qui vient dans le pays. You think you can like every woman. Vous accouchez tout dans les filles vous voulez. You think you can sleep with any woman that you want. Vous allez au bout vous voulez. You think you can go wherever you want. Ça pas bon fruit. That's not good fruit. Vous êtes monsieur marié. You're a married man. You're mistreating your wife. You're mistreating your children. You're mistreating the people around you. That's not good fruit. 